Welcome to Myler's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. This is the modification that I did to my Jurassic Pro. Basically, what I did was that the kit that I saw from Foam Pro Shop, aka Drac, when he installed it, I knew I had to have it because, I mean, the stock was very flimsy and I knew that ahead of time going into it. So. His solution was rather nice. It actually works rather well. This was a very well thought out kit. It was also a very easy kit to install. If I had to give a difficulty rating, it was about a five. I mean, seriously, the only tools that I used was I used a number one Phillips head screwdriver, a pick, and some Teflon tape aside from some lube. But other than that, it's it was a very easy easy modification to do it's got the skinny pusher installed it's got uh the eliminated piece so that way because that's where the stock originally went that just snaps into the trigger area that's really nice and this buffer tube stock that is a really strong piece i was a little skeptical but it is very very strong i mean now I'm definitely digging this blaster. It definitely does look like a sniper. And that's what I always wanted was I wanted a nice sniper blaster. You know, bolt action definitely is the way to go for a sniper blaster. Um, I didn't do anything with the spring, to be honest with you, because I really don't think it needs it. One, two. I... I need blasters that are below 150, that are 150 and under, is what I need. I have plenty of blasters that do well over 200, a few that do over 300, one that does almost 400 to, to 400. You know, but I need some 150 and under blasters that are decent. Ones that I can run around and play with, you know, without tearing smaller competitors to smithereens with a... 300 FPS, Worker Swift, or something like that, you know? But this is a rather cool blaster. I'm really digging it. I fired off a bunch of shots to it. It's a really fun blaster to play with. I'm definitely going to be adding this one to my arsenal. But yeah, very nice safety delete. When Drax sat down and thought this kid out, he actually did a very good job. I will have to give the devil his due on this one. I mean, very easy to install. Um, I pulled all the locks, including the D-Prime lock. What I did, because he said that there would be a hole in your blaster, is I just left that piece in there. And it works, but there's no D-Prime lock at all. There's no locks at all in this blaster anymore. It functions beautifully, though. It is a gorgeous blaster. Again, Drac did a really good job with this kit. I'll put a buy link in the description for his kit, but if you have one of these blasters, you should definitely pick up this kit. It's a very nice kit. It costs like $35, but in my opinion, it's well worth $35. His parts are always nice, high quality. Until next time, this is Milo's Mod signing off.